Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Experiments. Today we're taking a look at Virgin Galactic. Let's get started. What a day for Virgin Galactic. Overall, we're down about 22% and honestly, I think it deserves it. And here's why. Virgin Galactic has delayed their next test flights to May. This is before when we're supposed to have commercial passengers. And now the commercial flights have been pushed to next year. That's a big pushback. Taking a quick look at the stock overall, it looks like we're down just over 30% from its recent highs. And honestly, I would not be surprised if it goes down even more. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this stock go down 50% plus after what just happened. So you might be thinking, Miguel, what are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to buy this prices because I'm very disappointed by the delay we've had. Uh, but I'm also not going to sell anything because over the long term, I still believe that Virgin Galactic will be an amazing company once we get these commercial flights rolling. And it's not like Virgin Galactic is the only company to have delays, especially when doing something that's literally never been done before, which is why I'm a little bit forgiving of what's happening. Let's take a look, for example, at another infamous company known for having delays. Here's a tweet by Elon Musk from 2016 saying Tesla expects to demonstrate a self-driving cross-country trip next year. So essentially he's saying in 2017, Tesla will demonstrate a full self-driving cross-country trip. Well, that didn't happen. How about this article from February 8, 2018? Elon Musk promises fully autonomous coast-to-coast -coast Tesla road trip in the next seven months. Well, 2018 came and went and we didn't see that. How about this? Fully self-driving cars will be ready in 2019, says Elon Musk. This is around the time I started buying Tesla stock and even as a Tesla bull myself, I didn't believe that Tesla would have fully autonomous vehicles in 2019. Of course, we're not done yet. Elon Musk promises a really, truly self-driving Tesla in 2020. Well, 2020 came and went and we didn't get to see a really, truly full self-driving car. All of that leads us to today, where Elon Musk says Tesla's full self-driving tech will have level 5 autonomy by the end of 2021. And you know what? I'll believe it when I see it. This doesn't mean I don't believe Tesla is ahead of the competition, of course. If you understand how neural networks work and how artificial intelligence learns, then you would know that Tesla is so far ahead of the competition that there's very little chance that anyone else can catch up to them. This is why through all of these delays, I've stuck with Tesla because at some point we will see an autonomous future and Tesla will be the first to get there. Whether that's this year or next year or the year after that, who knows, but at some point it will happen and Tesla will be the one to crack the code first. So what was I doing with Tesla stock during all this time? Was I trying to time the market? Was I buying? Was I selling? No! All I did was hold on to my Tesla shares because I was expecting the stock to appreciate over time. And it did. It more than doubled and tripled and quadrupled over the last two years that I've held it. And what does any of that have to do with Virgin Galactic? Well, my strategy for investing in Virgin Galactic will be the same as Tesla because my conviction in Virgin Galactic is almost not quite, but almost as high as my conviction for Tesla. So what's my plan moving forward with Virgin Galactic? For starters, I don't plan on selling any of my shares because my conviction in Virgin Galactic is still very strong. However, even at $42 per share, I'm still up about 80% from my initial investment, so I'm not in a rush to buy any yet. The stock would have to go down another 50% from here down to about $20 per share in order for it to be a solid buy for me. Now, does that mean I don't think the stock is gonna continue going down? I think the stock is definitely going to continue going down. I wouldn't be surprised if the stock goes down tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But I'd rather not time the market and just leave things as they are. Anyways, with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you liked it or got any useful information from it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.